Hello, everybody. I remember I had a subscriber. Uh, this was about a month or two ago when oil was dropping, and we had an oil position on. And this subscriber, he kept emailing me saying, you don't use stop losses? You don't use stop losses? And I don't know, I maybe was long oil around $45.30 uh, in uh, crude futures. We had positions on in USO and OIL, and market was going down. 45, 44, 43. And every time he emailed me, his emails would become more excitable and more insistent. You have to use stop losses. I read this in a book. You have, you have to have stop losses. And I think in the end, he prudently stopped himself out with a loss, maybe at around 39 or 40. My position oil ultimately turned around I think I got out 48 or something I made a big profit profit again no loss no stop losses but the um, I guess the lesson of the story is here and I've said this before how I can tell a lot about people from uh, their comments uh, the the emotion that they uh, you know send out uh, you know, so first of all, you can tell in a person like that, that their mental game is very, very weak. All right. They are not detached. They are focused entirely on the market. Let me say something about the market. The market is just a meaningless bunch of numbers. Your mind creates your profit or your loss. Your mind and your behavior, which your mind controls, okay? The market's just a bunch of numbers. I mean, I, I keep saying, I could throw darts at a dartboard, I could make money, it's no problem. Um, when you are focused on the numbers, the market, the price of something, when you're asking questions like, where do you think this is going to go? I, you know, I cannot predict the future nor can you, any of you, okay? I don't care what system or approach you use. I don't care if you use your stupid trend lines or your moving averages or your Fibonacci or your Schmibonacci or whatever the hell you use. You cannot, especially using that kind of stuff, technical analysis, tea leaves, you cannot predict the future, okay? Now, I've said this in the past. This is a game of probability. And everything I do, I try to put probability on my side. If this is a game of wagering, I want to be the house, not the customer. I want to have the advantage. And I do have the advantage. I have the advantage every single time over the cockroaches and the mousy boys and the stop losers and the parrots and all those other people, okay, because I have the correct understanding, I know what's going on at all times, and I have the correct information, and I have the correct mental game, which is really uh, the most important thing, okay, because I've given you many examples here where, you know, you don't even need the right information, I mean, you just go against anything that Jim Rogers said, or Schiff, or any one of those people, or any of these big hedge fund guys, you'll make money. You don't need MMT. You don't need the right information. You don't need the daily treasury statement. But, you know, I prefer, I like that stuff. I like looking at that stuff. I prefer to be informed than to sit around and wait and have my life dependent on some stupidity that Jim Rogers or Schiff says. I, you know, there are more trading opportunities that I can avail myself of by having the right information. But if you are focused only on the market, the price of something, the price of a stock, I can tell you right now, you have zero mental gain. You are looking at probably the least important thing in the whole equation of being successful. I don't give a shit about where the market is or the price is at any particular point in time. The only thing I care about is making money, profits. That at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to paying my bills or uh, buying a nice car or going on vacation or going out to dinner at a nice restaurant, you know, 
that all of those situations you cannot pay for by saying, hey, I, I was right in, you know, the way I saw the market. No, they want money, okay? I am interested in the money to me. I don't care how I get that. I don't care what the market does. I don't pay attention to prices. I pay attention to making money. Now, if you don't understand that distinction, I want you to think about it. I really want you to reflect on that. And you know, I've given you examples of what I'm talking about. I've given you examples in the in the past. Are you interested in the action? Okay? Are you interested in in being right? In other words, right in the sense that oh, I predicted a housing crash, which never really happened anyway. Or if it did, it was so brief and it was artificial. That's artificial, okay, because everything came back. Or one day this thing is going to happen, I just can't tell you when. That is useless information. If you are interested in useless information, what if I buy a stock right now and it goes against me? But everything, all of my information tells me that's a good stock to own. I don't care what the price is. I care about making money. And I make money every single time. And you mousy boys and you people, if you lack detachment, if you lack patience, if you lack trust, if you lack discipline, okay, and if all you're thinking about is, hey, where do you think this is going to go? Where do you think that's going to go? What price... I don't care. I just care about making money. Think about that. There's a big difference. A big difference between those things. Okay? Making money is all about behavior. It has nothing to do with the market. Absolutely nothing to do with the market. I could trade any market. I don't care what it is. And I can make money at it. Anything. You give me something right now that I don't even know anything about and I will make money at it. Not as much as what I make here because uh, I know what information to look at and what drives this stuff, but I don't care. I'll make money at it. All right. Um, so that's uh, what I wanted to say right there. People, some of you are getting it. I got to say, uh, I had an email from somebody uh, yesterday, a very nice email who is uh, from a subscriber and somebody, again, came into this with no, you know, as a novice, no experience, making money, saying the, the, the greatest thing that Mike Norman teaches, he sees it and he has applied it in his own life. He says, the greatest thing that I teach is the mental game, all right? And all you people here who are, you know, hung up on, on what the market does and this price of this and that price of that, you just, you're not getting it. You are not getting it. That is a meaningless thing. That is a totally meaningless thing. Think about it. I'll be back later. Bye.